If you want to find a career in the electrical industry, there are a few places you can look. One, you can become an electrician or you could try to become a lineman. There are a lot of trades, careers inside the energy or the electrical industry. Today, I want to talk about becoming a substation technician. What is a substation technician and what do they do? Well, you might be wondering, well, what even is a substation? Now, according to the guidebook for linemen and cablemen, if you go to page 115, a substation is a transformer station and a switch station. In substations, lines coming from different generating stations, voltage systems, and utilities are brought together, interconnected, and transformed to a needed voltage. A substation also has the equipment to provide protection for all the outgoing lines and for the transformers and switch gear inside the station yard. The following equipment help make the interconnections. Circuit breakers that control the lines going in and out. Regulators that adjust the voltage. Capacitors and reactors that adjust the volt ampere reactant. Transformers that change the voltage of incoming lines to a different voltage for outgoing lines. Auxiliary components such as current transformers, potential transformers, relay equipment, metering and telecommunications that monitoring the system automatically activate switch gear during fault conditions. Surge arresters that shut high voltage lining and other electrical surges from a system. Now to you, that might seem like French. You might even not even have any understanding of what I just read to you even means. In basic term, a substation is responsible for turning high voltage into a lower voltage. And a basic way to explain it is you have a power generating system, let's use a nuclear power plant for example, that creates electricity. Now that electricity is usually high voltage transmission or sub-transmission levels, 500,000 volts down to 69,000 volts. Now the high voltage comes to what we call a substation that has all these different pieces of electrical equipment, like I was just saying, circuit breakers, transformers, capacitors, auxiliary components, surge arresters in this substation that turns that high voltage into a lower distribution voltage like a common is 12,470 volts phase to phase, 7,200 volts phase to ground is a common distribution voltage in America. So substations are responsible for turning high voltage into a lower voltage. Now, when it's turned into that lower distribution voltage, that's the kind of power lines you see running through your towns, your neighborhoods, your cities, you know, on the power poles. And ultimately that voltage, that electricity, is even decreased more through a transformer that goes to your house. The whole electrical grid infrastructure starts with a power generation system, transmission lines to substations, to distribution lines, to transformers, to your house. That's basically how the electrical grid works. Now, as a substation technician, you could probably kind of imagine, well, if a substation is full of all these different components, all these different pieces of electrical equipment, I would imagine a substation technician probably works on those kinds of things. And you would be right. That's exactly what substation technicians do. You can imagine when it comes to building such an intricate part of the electrical infrastructure like a substation, it starts from the ground. A piece of ground, there's a lot of electricity going in and out of a substation. There's a lot of components that have to go in the ground. You know, you have to have build a whole entire ground grid or copper grid that goes underground so everything's at the same potential and then you have fences and you have these big transformers and these big different pieces of electrical components inside of a substation very very intricate now substations just looking at it you might think well yeah there's there's some moving parts and there really is the cool thing about the substation the technician is you learn so much different parts about the about electricity, electrical theory, and all these different components that really make the electrical grid work. You might be kind of wondering, well, I can have an idea of you know what a substation technician does. Now, what exactly would they do in an apprenticeship? If I were to get into a substation apprenticeship, become a, want to become a substation technician, what would my responsibilities do? I am a journeyman lineman. I have worked in and around substations, but I don't know exactly. What exactly does a substation technician do? 
Good thing about the internet and the resources when it comes to looking up a substation technician apprenticeship within the IBW, you can find exactly what a substation technician is. For example, we're on MoValleyJETC.org. This is one of the outside lineman apprenticeships or outside construction electrical apprenticeships, I should say, that they do substation technicians and they do linemen. And this is the Missouri Valley. So this covers many of these states. I'll show you here in this map. You can pop up and see what states these are. Most of the outside construction electrical apprenticeships, JATCs in the country, offer some sort of substation technician apprenticeship. There might be a couple that don't. I know Mo Valley does, Cellcat, Albat, Swolcat. They all offer substation technician apprenticeships. They say on their website, a journeyman substation technician builds, maintains, and operates and repairs electrical power substations and switchyards and associated systems. Every product project is complex, challenging, rewarding, and requires careful management of a skilled team of professionals, power workers. The construction, operation, and maintenance of substations and switchyards involves special skills and advanced technologies. In addition, workmanship must be of the highest quality because the station and switchyard will operate unattended for 30 years or longer when the project is done. That's kind of a broad explanation of kind of what a substation is and what a substation technician is doing, starting from the ground to a completed project of a substation or switchyard and all the components inside that make that switchyard or substation work. That's what a substation technician does. Now we can look here this gives a pretty good visual explanation of what a substation technician you could expect to do within the apprenticeship, within classroom training, and as a technician journeyman level. We have assembly and erection of substations and switchyards. And you guys can either pause the video or you know read these bullet points and learn for yourselves. Safety risk management. The role of a substation in an electrical system. Planning and initiating jobs. Classroom and self-paced studies. Use tools and test equipment. Install below grade foundations. Wire cabinets and relay panels. Install capacitor banks. Install power circuit breakers. Install power transformers. Install disconnect switches. Install distribution transformers for station power. Those are all roles that you could expect to have, or expect to learn about inside of a substation technician apprenticeship. And you may be wondering, well, how do I become a substation technician? Well, the main way I would tell you how to do it is to look up one of these acronyms out of one of these maps and go to their website and they should have on their menu options, a substation technician apprenticeship where you can apply for. And let me tell you right now, this is a great time to apply for a substation technician apprenticeship. From my understanding, from what I've heard in the field and people who work in substations and things like that, there is a massive demand and a massive need for substation technician apprentices right now. This is a great way to get your foot in the door and start learning more about electrical equipment, how electricity works, electrical theory, the different components inside of electrical grid, and ultimately how to build a substation because substations are so important. This is a great place to start. If you want to become a lineman, that's more of your thing you want to do. I think if you have the opportunity to apply and get into a substation technician apprenticeship, this is an awesome place to start. You're going to learn so much. Now, inside the Lyman Apprenticeship, inside the Lyman Apprenticeship I went through in the Northwest, we had to get 200 hours of substation work. That means working in around a substation. So you learn a little bit more about the components within a substation. But most apprenticeships in a substation technician apprenticeship are roughly three to five years, three to four years, depending on where you're at, how many hours and stuff you're getting. Like I said, you're gonna be learning a lot of those things that I was just explaining or was talking about. Substations are very intricate. They're a very vital, important part to the electrical grid. Without substations, like I was saying, you wouldn't be able to turn your lights on in your house because substations are responsible for 
decreasing turning voltage that is so high and unusable to a lower usable voltage that goes throughout your city, town, or neighborhood. So if you wanna be part of a career, a part of an industry that is vitally important for something that we Americans use on an everyday basis, learn how to become a substation technician. I'll have links in the description down below where you could go find this exact thing where I was telling you about what a substation technician is, this Mo Valley, where you can learn a lot more about a substation technician and even apply if you wanna check out this career. I know there's opportunities right now and the possibility to get to a substation technician apprenticeship right now is pretty doggone good. This year, foot in the door, start learning about the electrical grid, all the different components. I know these guys who work in as a substation technician, they make a killing. They can make really great money I know journeymen, metermen, sausage technicians, switch yard technicians. These guys work a lot. Building substations is a very intricate, very vital part of the electrical grid. And there's a lot of substations that need to go up, especially with a lot of the solar going up, especially on the West Coast in Nevada and California. They still need to be able to take that energy or electricity produced from a solar field that goes into a substation and that substation ultimately to power lines substations are everywhere and they're super 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 important and this is why it's a great trade to look into if you want to find a career in the electrical industry check out a substation technician with blue collar edu i'm here to expose teach educate you about blue collar career opportunities and how to get started with those careers if you guys have any questions about wanting to get started as a substation technician or electrician or lineman or really any trade, leave them in the comments down below or go ahead and email at austin at bluecollaredu.com or DM me on any one of our social platforms at bluecollaredu. Hopefully you enjoyed and learned from this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And with that being said, I'll catch you on the next one.